everybody, E here. Welcome back to Thursday Theorist. Today we are talking about Under the Dome, one of the worst Stephen King adaptations ever created. Also, one of the worst endings of anyways books, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. Um, actually, we are going to talk about the ending, but we're not going to talk about how bad it is. This book is terrific for uh, what, 800 pages, I want to say, and then things take a turn for the worst. Um, and then he rebooted the whole concept in Sleeping Beauties. But, um, and then they got Lee Child, seven words, the best yet from the best ever. No. Um, <laughs> now in here, uh, there's a thank you to Tabitha or somebody for, <laughs> for really, really whittling down. Maybe it's in the acknowledgments. Um, yeah. Uh, Tabitha and Lenora Legrand, uh, uh, her, his daughter-in-law, who were both tough, humane, and helpful. So this thing was actually longer than the almost 1,100 pages it is. 1,061 pages. Um, I tried this book when it first came out, and I got about 300 pages into it, and I gave it up. Um, then it sat on my shelf forever, and I went back to it, um, I think in 2000, I can't remember, 2000 or something. Um, I came back to it, and I was able to finish it, and I liked it all right, except for that ending. Um, when I did my reread, I liked it, in 2015, I think it was, I liked it a lot more, but that ending is still bad. But, once again, like Tommyknockers, um, the parts that I don't like in this actually help tie my whole world together. So, again, we have, and I haven't, I, don't, I haven't gone into this much yet, so I'm going to go into it now. I believe that the aliens in Stephen King's universe, I, I've talked about this before to an extent, that they are from Midworld. But I have not mentioned that I consider them to be the old ones. Um, whenever you read through the Dark Tower series and they're talking about the old ones, kind of like Lovecraft's old gods, well, King has the old ones. Um, I'm think, I, I think, I theorize that the, anytime we see the aliens, whether it be, you know, Pennywise, the aliens in Tommyknockers, the aliens in Dreamcatcher, any of those things that we're, we are dealing with the old ones. That's why they are so powerful. Um, another thing that, uh, of course, you know, you get to it and the, the ending, you know, spoiler alert, is aliens. Um, but there's a connection in there that they have to convince these old ones that humans are worth saving. Um, and if you, in Midworld, mid there's a drastic disconnect between the gods or whatever you want, the old ones and the Prim and all that stuff. I mean, in the Dark Tower series, you never even get into the Prim. They never even go into the Prim. Things leak over, but you never actually get there. So my theory, that's, that's how it all ties together, is these old ones, you know, they leak into our world, but we've never been over there because they deal with the afterlife. And we'll get into more on that uh, when we get to Revival. But what did you think about this one? Um, I've seen some people say that it is their favorite... <laughs> it is their favorite Stephen King novel of all time, and I don't understand. In fact, I would go as far as saying that if this is the best Stephen King novel for you, you haven't read much Stephen King. But what do I know? I'm just a Stephen King theorist. So <laughs> let me know what you think down there in the comments below. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. It's been another Thursday Thursday video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.